Um, excited, um, anxious, you know, great opportunity for me and my team. You've played former teams before, but is this sort of a different situation for you, a different feeling going back to a, a place that has meant so much to your career over the last couple of years? Oh, yeah. It's important. It's, uh, I think it's a great feeling. You know, I think Atlanta gave me a great opportunity to be where I'm at, where I'm, where I'm at now. Uh, they let me, uh, gave me the opportunity to expand on my game and show uh, everybody how I play. So um, I think it's a great feeling just going back there. When you check the standings, when you look at the NBA standings, do you look at them as just another team, or is there like a special interest in the fact that you know those guys, you have those relationships, and you helped build what they're doing there? Um, I don't get caught up in all that. You know, uh, I'm a competitor, and uh, it's just another game for me. Uh, once you get caught up in all that, your emotions start playing in play. So um, I just want to go in there, man, and play like it's another road game. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a great atmosphere, and I'm sure uh, – you know, it's going to be a great game. You know, two playoff teams uh, competing for a win. Not many players have a chance to be part of a 60-win team. What, what stands out most? What, what will you remember most about that experience last year? Uh, I think the biggest thing is, um, you know, the way we got there. You know, understanding what it took to get there. Um, you know, we had our bumps in the road, but we stayed together as a team. We had our injuries, but we stayed together as a team. So. You know, all the trial and tribulation that it took to get there, and I think that's what I remember most about. You're almost 20 games into your tenure as a Toronto Raptor. Uh, this group uh, is really strong defensively, but still lagging behind offensively. Is this kind of the expectation you had or you were told about this season, or is this just a matter of another season unfolding? Oh, yeah. This was, this was uh, you know, that we came into the season really focusing on defense. We really didn't uh, put too much uh, prior possession on offense because we figured that we had a lot of scores and guys who could score the ball. And, uh, you know, it's going to take time, to, you know, to jail. But I think um, defensively we, we, we're, we're doing what we're supposed to do and our offense will catch up. But, you know, you want to be better later than you are early. What's been the biggest adjustment for you coming to a new team? Uh, just understanding personnel, understanding players, you know, new coaches. Um, uh, all those types of things play a factor. You know, it's just... It's a learning experience because, uh, you know, you got to understand on the floor where you're going to get your shots or, who, you know, what you got to do to be productive offensively. And on defense, you got to understand where you can help and where you can gamble at. So uh, it's a whole learning experience for me, but uh, it's a great experience for me, and I'm happy to be here. Chris Vivlamore asked uh, Teague today what he thought about you playing against you coming back. He said he didn't care. Are you surprised by that answer? Is that just what? Who, uh, Jeff? Yeah, he just did. I, uh, I'm, I'm not, not surprised me about Jeff. Uh, Jeff is... You know, Jeff, you know, he's just one of those guys. He comes in, do his work, and go home. So i um, not surprised me about Jeff. Um, but like he said, you know, it's another game, you know. And that's how I'm going to look at uh, them as another game. So it's just a great opportunity for me and my team to go in there and man, get a, a road win and uh, make a statement. You'd be happy to get it over with not to talk about it again? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. It's one of those things it's going to drag out. It's going to be going on all day, all in the morning, so uh, just get it over with, man. Get it behind me, and uh, you know, and, and be happy. I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy to be here, and uh, you know, this is my team now, Toronto Raptors. There wasn't too many teams that had success against you guys last year. The Raptors were, were one of them, taking three or four. What did this team in Toronto do last year that kind of got you guys off your your groove uh, a little bit? Uh, I think physicality, man. The physicality is the biggest thing, man. Um, they, they brought a sense of physicality to the game that we didn't match. And, um, and they brought a sense of urgency that we didn't match last year. So, um, you know, hopefully we can bring those same things this year. They're going to name Player of the Month today. Would Kyle get your vote for what he's doing? Who? Kyle Lowry. Here. Oh, Kyle Lowry, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about Kyle Corr. No. <laughs> but uh, Kyle Lowry. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Kyle, he, he deserves it, man. He's been playing great this whole month. Um, you know, he deserves a bunch of votes. Um, he got my vote. Thanks, Thank man. You. Thank you, man.